Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to actually review a movie for you guys. I am going to review the 1954 classic Rear Window. Now I have the Alfred Hitchcock Essentials Collection. Um, I'm not gonna. I didn't watch it on. Usually I watch a movie in my in my house. Um, that that's usually where I watch it. Uh, but today I'm actually going to, actually, I saw this in the theaters. Uh, I have seen this on Blu-ray before. It's a great Blu-ray transfer, but I am not gonna, gonna talk about this whole thing. I will want to do a Halloween special on the, on, on Hitchcock one of these days. Like, I want to do a whole special on Hitchcock. He's one of the best directors, maybe all five of these movies together. No, I'm a little sweaty. I apologize. But, anyways, I, like I said, I saw Rear Window in theaters for the first the first time. The first time I've ever seen it in theaters. I've seen it once before. I loved it the first time I saw it. I thought it was great. But let, let me run down the story of Rear Window. So, so the story is about... This man, he's, he's, he's stuck, uh, he's stuck, he's stuck in his apartment for, for, for like, for, for like seven weeks. He's almost gonna, he's almost done being stuck. Um, like he has a week left and basically what he's been doing is looking out the window. Uh, this man is played by James Stewart. I forgot to say the actors, James Stewart and Grace Kelly. And Thelma Ritter and uh, Raymond Burr are in this movie. Um, so basically, what happens is that he's this he's this photographer, and he's basically viewing his 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 people his his uh his his neighbors, and he views one of his neighbors, and him. And then, and then he finds out that one of his murder, that one of his uh, neighbors actually maybe committed murder, and he's looking if he actually committed murder. And of course, the neighbors played by Raymond Burr, and and so so Grace Kelly is like, hey, maybe I should check this. Maybe I should may, maybe I should help you because she saw something that looked suspicious as well. He's been looking at suspicious behavior, and it's like. Does he know he did it? Does he know you did it? And in the theater, this is a really exciting movie to watch because the suspense storyline is really well done. No wonder why you call Alfred Hitchcock the master of suspense. Even though Psycho has great suspense, you don't know where it's going. This, you do not know where it's going. I didn't know any anything what was going to happen. Was Jimmy Stewart going to get out of it alive? Was something going to happen if he killed his wife or not? If, if Raymond Burr killed his wife or not? And... Yeah, it was just really, really good, uh, and and it was it had some shocking moments at times, suspenseful. I don't find it scary, but I find it very suspenseful, very on the edge of your seat, very <gasps> what's gonna happen. And you care about the characters, you care about James Stewart because James Stewart is so likable in this movie, and he is so good in this movie. You care about him. I mean, he's he's doing something a little dark, but you can't help but like him for doing it. I mean, he's bored. He has nothing to do. All you can do now is just go on your phone. Oh, hey, what? I'm stuck for two legs for two days. I'm just gonna go on my phone and just play Temple Run. I don't play Temple Run anymore. But um, we're not talking about Temple Run. We're talking about Hitchcock. I should. I, I wish I would make a teacher. We're not talking about Temple Run. We're talking about fucking Hitchcock. I would love to. I would love to see that. And I mean, Rear Window is just. Really interesting. They actually built a whole set with of of the apartments. Like it's actually a set, which is one of the best set designs probably ever. I think like they built a whole apartment set, and all the apartments just look really cool. Like the fact that you could see them, and from this rear window, I always wanted to see how it would be like if you looked from a rear window. But then I noticed the consequences of it, and I don't want to end up of what happened with Jim James Stewart in this movie. And like I said, James Stewart's awesome. You really feel like that. And and the way they direct everyone, like, just all the characters, you, like, really, 
not get to know about the neighbors. You don't get to know their stories, but when you see them from their windows, they're very interesting. You get to see each of their stories. Like, you get to see a little bit of the characters where there's a little bit more caring. You know a lot about G Jimmy Stewart's character. You know a lot about Grace Kelly's character, and Grace Kelly is... One of the most beautiful actresses of all time, and she's also great. She is terrific in this movie. She is beautiful. She she has a lot of strong kind of like she just the dialogue and her chemistry with James Stewart is great. Thelma Ritter is just awesome. She's she's great in this movie. She she really brings some comedy and also some like kind of realism at first. She's just very very funny and just really good. Uh, this movie's actually very funny. It, I think it has some very funny moments, some very, some some great charm to it. It doesn't. It's not really like a downer kind of like Psycho is or Vertigo. It it has more kind of a happy but also kind of sad ending, which the ending is just brilliant. Uh, comedically, it's all it's very comedically funny, but it's also kind of dark and kind of sad. And, and just the last confirmation scene. There's a really good confirmation scene in this movie. Like I said, I love the suspense. The cinematography is some of the best, actually. Because, like, the cinematography goes... Makes the suspense so well. The score... And just... There are some great... Great stuff. Like... 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 Just the set... Design is so... It's just so good. So... So fantastic. And... Just all the... All the characters. Um... James Stewart. Grace Kelly. Um... Who's the other... Thelma Ritter, Raymond Burr's great. He actually feels like a really human being, like, not like a, oh, hey, I'm just this. He's actually really good. Grace Kelly is one of the most beautiful women ever and also a great actress. She's great in this movie. Like I said, I love Rear Window. It's got great suspense. It's great from beginning to end. I, I just love this movie. And this is one of the best... Best Hitchcock movies, one of the best suspense movies, one of the best classic movies of all time. It's just one of the best movies. Maybe not like a favorite in the top ten, but it's definitely a fantastic movie, and I'll give it an A+. Plus. Uh, there's no shame. It's it's just such a well done, such a suspenseful movie. It's it's just so brilliant, and God, I, I love this movie, especially in theaters. If you could see it in theaters, see it. It is very interesting, and just Hitchcock, this proves that he's a genius. This is my second favorite film, next to North by Northwest, which is another movie I would like to see in theaters. Psycho, I'd love to see in theaters. Vertigo, I, I'd love to see uh, Vertigo as well. Uh, the Birds as well. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see a lot of Hitchcock films. I would like to see a lot of them in theaters, especially Psycho and North by Northwest. The, the both both of these films are are just brilliant and and I mean if you if you love suspense if you love movies like this and if you haven't seen this which you probably if you're not a movie fan you probably if you're a movie fan you've probably seen this if you're not a movie fan then you haven't seen this but this is just a really enjoyable fun suspenseful sometimes dramatic drama kind of thriller movie it is fantastic I love love, love, love for your window, and I'm going to give it an A+. plus. It is a great movie. Did I say that? So, if, it, so, yeah, like I said, check, check out, check out Rear, check out Rear Window if you haven't, and check it out in theaters if you can. Alright guys, like, subscribe, and bye-bye.